Welcome to 10 Minute Teach with Mr. A. In this video, we're going to be dividing a three digit number by a one digit number. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so for our first example, we've got 396 divided by three. So what we're trying to do is split 396 into three equal pieces. So what that kind of looks like is we've got our bar model here and we want to split it into three equal pieces. So 396, so that's essentially what we're trying to do. So when we're using our short division, we pop that into our bus stop. There we go. And what we're dividing by goes just on the outside there. And it's not like when we do most calculations where we start over at the smallest part of the number, we actually start at the largest part of the number. So we'll be starting over at the 300 out of the 396. And then we think, well, how many threes can I fit inside a three here? Well, it's a whole one. And then we move on to our next number here. How many threes can I fit inside a nine? Well, that is three, because three times three is nine. And then I move on to my next number. So how many threes can I fit inside a six? Well, that is two. So 132 is our answer. So 396 divided by three is 132. Okay, so let's move on to our second example. So we've got 245 and we're trying to split it into four equal pieces. Now then, just looking at this one, I know that five, which this number ends in, isn't in the four times table. So we might have a little remainder here. So let's have a little check. So into our bus stop once more. There we go. So 245 goes inside and we're dividing by four. So with this one, straight away, I'm thinking, well, I can't do what I did on the last one because I can't fit a four inside a two. So if I can't, well, I put a zero and this whole two moves over to my next number. So then, well, we start again and we go, well, how many fours can I fit inside 24? Well, that is six because six times four is 24 and I've got nothing to carry over on this one. And then I think, well, how many fours can I fit in a five? And it is one, but I'm at four and I need to get to five. So I've got one left over. So what we do is we make that a remainder of one. So we have that little R there, as you can see. So that just means that we've got one left over. So you can't split 245 into exactly four equal pieces. Okay, then, so we've got our final example here, which is 586 divided by eight. So let's get this one into our bus stop. 586 inside what I'm dividing by just on the outside there. So same again with this one. So how many eights can I fit inside a five? Well, I can't. So my five will have to move to my next number. Now, how many eights can I fit inside 58? Well, if you're not too sure of your eight times table, there's no harm in writing it out. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64. And 64 is too many, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven whole ones that I can fit inside 58. And because I'm at 56 and I need to get to 58, I've got two left over. And now I start again and I think, well, how many eights can I fit inside 26? And it's one, two, three, because 32 is too many. So I can fit three whole ones and three eights are 24. And it looks like to get to 26, I'm gonna have a remainder again. And that remainder is two. If this video has helped you today, then please consider checking out my other videos, maybe leave a comment for any that you'd like me to do in future, and also maybe a little subscribe as well. Until next time, guys, goodbye.